So the, the question is, on Saturday, uh, Habib Kalim stressed on the importance of obedience and servants towards one's parents above teachers and anybody else. Would you enlighten us on what are the best ways to deal, uh, to deal with our parents when they are non-Muslims? Do all that you have advised us on apply to them? غالب البر الذي يوجه للآباء المسلمين أو الأمهات يوجه كذلك لغير المسلمات. He said that most of the obedience that is directed towards the parents who are Muslims is also directed towards the parents who are non-Muslim. كانت سيدتنا أسماء أمها مشركة في ذلك الزمان ثم. The mother of Sayyidah Asma was in fact a mushrika. She was not disbelieved in that time. وسألت النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. And she asked the Prophet. فقالها صليها. And so he said to her, "Be good with her." ممكن نقوم بثلاث حالات مع الوالدين في هذه الحالة إذا كان غير مسلمين. So if the parents are non-Muslims, let us look at three different situations. فإذا كانوا مسلمين من باب أولى. So if they are Muslim, well, okay, without a doubt. الخصلة الأولى الدعاء لهما. The first quality is make dua for them. ندعو لوالدينا. We make dua for our parents. أو لوالدينا. We make dua. For our two parents, mother and father, or all of our ancestry. ندعو لهم بالدعوات المعتادة العافية وطول العمر والتوفيق وما شابه ذلك. We make dua for their good health and their long life and everything that is good. كل داعي لأي إنسان. Every one who makes dua for someone else. أول من يستفيد من الدعاء هو الداعي. The first person to benefit from your dua is the what you yourself making dua. لأن كل دعوة تدعوها لأحد الملك يقول لك ولك مثل هذا أنت أول ستحصل لها. Because every dua that you make, the angel will come and say, and also for you, they will ask the same thing. ذلك قال بعض الصالحين. So for this reason, some of the pious. إذا دعوت الله عز وجل. If you made dua to Allah. في بعض الأمور. Regarding some things, وتأخرت الإجابة. And the answer was delayed. فأدعو لأحد من إخواني في الله. So I go and I make dua for one of my brothers. فتتحدد لي مباشرة. And I get the answer immediately. إذا أردت شيء أدعو لأخيك فيه. If you want something, then make dua for your brother or your sister. فتكون واسطة الملك أقرب لك في حصول ذلك الكلام. لأن الملك يقول ولك مثل هذا. And because the intermediary of the angel comes into the situation, they will make dua for you and will be quicker. طيب تدعو لوالديها. So the first you make dua. ثانيا تتخلق معهم بالأخلاق الحسنة. The second you should have lofty character with them. ثالثا تواصل Third, you always stay in touch with them. يعني تعطيها هدية والديها أو تعطيها شيء من المال أو الهدايا تواصلهم الصلة كما قال الرسول سيدة أسماء أفأصلها قال نعم صليها. So you always remain in touch, meaning giving them something. You give her, you give them a gift, or you give them some money, or you give them something. Make sure that there's always a connection, as the Prophet said to say the Asma to her parent, her mother. أي مال يبذله الإنسان لوالديه. Any money you spend on your parents. أولا في الدنيا الآن. First of all, in this world. يعوضه مباشرة. You'll be given in place of it something. مضاعف. And it will be multiplied. قد يكون فورا. It may be immediately. قد يكون بعد فترة. And it may be later. أي إنسان. Any human being. يعاون والديه ماديا في المال. That supports his mom or father financially. لا يفتقر أبدا. They will never become poor. بالعكس. Opposite. إن كان يشتغل في التجارة. If they used to trade. تنجح مشاريعه التجارية. Their projects will be successful. إن يشتغل بأي عمل. Whatever work they do. تنجح أعماله. They will be successful. هذا مجرب. This is experienced. أي إنسان يساعد والديه أمه أو أباه. Any person that helps their mother or father. في المال. With financially. وفي مثل هذه الأمور غير ذلك. And these matters. يعوض مباشرة. He will be given something of reward. أحيانا. Sometimes. بعد وفاة الوالدين. It will occur after the death of his parents. تم فتح على هذا الخيرات والبركات وبركة والديه. This person will have so many good blessings open as a result of his parents. لأن كثير من الأمور امتحان تجري في الغيب ونحن لا نطلع عليها. Because many of the affairs they continue in the unseen without us knowing. حتى يعلم المولى سبحانه وتعالى صدق هذا الإنسان. Until Allah knows the truthfulness of this person. فيعطي بعد ذلك الخيرات والبركات. So he gives him after this the great good. هذه قاعدة ثابتة. This is an established principle. ما ينفقه الإنسان على والديه. That which the human being gives for his parents financially. أو يدخل به السرور عليهما. Or brings them with. يعوضه دنيا وأخرى. Allah will give him a reward in this life and in the next. قطعاً 
Without a doubt. لا شك في هذا. There's no doubt in this. مجرب مجرب مجرب. This is experienced, experienced and experienced. حتى وإن كانوا غير مسلمين. Even if they were non-Muslim. فكيف إذا كانوا مسلمين؟ So how about if they were Muslim? وإذا كانوا غير مسلمين يتسبب في هدايتهم. And if they were non-Muslim, then you should try be a means for them receiving guidance. ولا بد أن يستجيب الله الدعاء سبحانه وتعالى. And inshallah, surely Allah will answer your du'a. أنه كريم سبحانه وتعالى. Because Allah تعالى is noble. خصوصا في أوقات الإجابة. And generous, particularly in the times. Of answering du'a. And also in the places where du'a is answered. The right of the parents is great. It is the greatest of rights. After the rights of the Prophet is the rights of the parents. The greatest of the rights is the rights of Allah. Such as prayer. It is a right of Allah, meaning we give it to Him. The right of Allah upon His slaves is that they pray towards Him. And the right of the slaves to Allah is that if they pray to Him, then He will give them Jannah. And the right of the Muslim. إذا مررت على مسلم من المسلمين تعطي حقه. If you pass by a Muslim, then you give him his right. حقه السلام. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Her right is the salam. من مر عند مسلم من المسلمين. Whoever passes by one of the Muslims. فلم يسلم عليه. And he doesn't give them salam. أنت منعته حقه. هذا حق أعطوا إياه. السلام عليكم. هذا حقك. You have in fact denied her of her right. لا نظن أننا إذا سلمنا على حد أننا عملنا معه خير أو تكرمنا عليه أن تعطيته حقه فقط حقه الرسول قال حق المسلم على المسلم. Don't think that you if have if you give salam to a sister that you have given her something. رد السلام. This is her right. إعادة المريض. Giving her salam or visiting a sick person. إذا مرض مسلم من المسلمين. If a Muslim has fallen sick. فعندك حق له. So you have a right that you have to give. تعطيه إياه. That you have to give to her. You have to go visit. If you don't visit, it's as though you have have not given them the right of the, which they own, which is lying with you. And as the Prophet said, and also saying, responding to one's invitation, and also responding to one's invitation, and also. Praying on Janazah. In some of the reports, it's five and others ten. حق المسلم على المسلم. The rights of the Muslim upon another Muslim. وكذلك بعد حق الله حق الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم. And after the right of Allah is the right of the Messenger. أعظم الحقوق بعد حق الله حق الرسول. The greatest right of Allah is the right of the Messenger. ثم حقوق الوالدين. And then the rights of the parents. نعطي والدينا حقوقهم. That we fulfill the rights of our parents. ثم المسلمين الآخرين. And then the rest of the Muslims. لو كان جارك غير مسلم. If your neighbor was a non-Muslim, you have a right. The right of a neighbor of a neighbor. If your if your neighbor was a Muslim, there are two rights: the right of Islam and the right of neighbors. And then, if your neighbor was a relative, there are three rights upon you: the right of Islam, and the right of neighbor, and the right of relation. كان في المدينة. In Medina, كما روى الإمام البخاري رحمه الله تعالى. As Imam Bukhari reports, في كتاب ال في كتاب المرض والطب. In the book of sickness and medicine, كان غلاما يهوديا. There was a Jewish boy. يزور الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم. Who was visiting the Prophet. وأحيان يخدم الرسول. Sometimes he used to serve the Prophet. فمرض ذلك الشاب أو الغلام. So that young boy became ill. فذهب النبي يزوره. So the Prophet went to visit him. النبي بجلالة قدره يزوره. The Prophet with his majestic station went to visit him. مسلم. And this boy was not a Muslim. He was from the Jews of Medina. So the Prophet went to visit him. And he sat at his head. And then he offered him Islam. If we ever meet someone who is a non-Muslim, our meeting should not be negative without benefit. نتكلم عن الإسلام. We talk about Islam. ندعوه للإسلام. We call them to Islam. أقل شيء ندعو الله له. The least thing is that we make du'a to Allah for that person. كل ما قابلنا غير مسلم. Every time that we meet a non-Muslim. كل عمل نعمله معه. Everything that we do. كل كلام. Everything that we say. كل ابتسامه. Every smile. كل تقديم شيء. 
that everything that we offer اعطاؤهم مشروب او هديه او غير ذلك giving him a drink كل حركه معه everything that we do with them بنيه الاسلام with the intention of islam نعمل كل شيء بنيه we do everything with لماذا نعمل هذا مع هذا الشخص why do we do this with that person بنيه ان الله يشرح صدره للاسلام with the intention that allah ta'ala will expand his breast to هذه الاعمال القلبيه والنوايا الباطنيه these are the deeds of the heart and the intentions of the يضاف اليها كلاما We can add some speech to it. And then guidance will come. All of our dealing and interaction with that person is with the intention of Islam. So when the Prophet visited this young Jewish boy, he fulfilled the right of neighborhood upon him. Even though he was not Muslim. So the Prophet sat near his head and he spoke to him. دعاء عرض عليه الاسلام. And then he presented to him Islam. لماذا لا تسلم؟ So he said, why don't you become Muslim? قل لا إله إلا الله. He said, say لا إله إلا الله. الشاب كان مريضا. The man, the 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 boy was sick. في البداية لم يوافق. Initially he didn't agree. ثم دخل أبوه. Then his father entered the room. فالنبي كان يكلم الغلام هذا والشاب. So the prophet was speaking to this young man. فرفع الشاب رأسه. So he raised his head. As though he was seeking counsel of his father. <laughs> as, as though he was seeking counsel of his father. So his father said to him, This great speech. And it is a lesson for us. His father said, Obey Abu Qasim. Why? How did this father? Uh, know that the Prophet's path was true. He said, Obey Abu Qasim, for indeed he does not command except that which is good. All the commands of the Prophet were all good. So he said, This thing that the Prophet is commanding is good because he does not command except good. So the young boy said, I, he said the shahada. Subhanallah. So in this particular situation, after a few moments, in that same sitting, that young man died. The Prophet he exited with, and he was so happy. He was pulling his shawl. He didn't put his shawl over his shoulder. He was uh, pulling his shawl out of great joy. And, and he was giving glad tidings to his two companions, Abu Bakr and Umar. He said, Alhamdulillah, that Allah guided him through me by this visit that I made. It's a simple visit, but has a great guidance. Likewise, if we ever meet any non-Muslim, Every interaction with him, oh, with this great intention, this is just going to take means in guidance. We're just means. Allah is the guide. It is not the father that gives guidance, nor does the mother give guidance, nor does the sheikh give guidance, nor does the teacher. It is Allah who is the guide. We just take the means. Through good character, بالبيان, through uh, explanation, بالكلام, through speech, بالتعليم, through teaching, أسباب. we just mean it is Allah that guides whom He wills. May Allah guide us and all of humanity, inshallah. <laughs>